that, John, that, that. You know, I am always grateful and happy for all the guests that come on this show, but I'm particularly excited this evening because two of my favorite guests are on here tonight. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. we have uh, Mr. Daniel Craig. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he gets me. That's what I like about him. He understands where I'm coming from. And also, not only that, but we have just an American treasure herself, historian Doris Kearns Goodwin is here. Yeah. She's gonna lay some leadership. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna spit some knowledge about Abraham Lincoln out here, as yeah. she is wont to do. Um, folks, in case uh, you did not know, we are currently in the middle of Black History Month, and all across the country, Republican lawmakers are celebrating by trying to stop February from being taught in schools. <laughs> Uh, right now, the GOP is taking aim at critical race theory, which they define as anything uh, being critical of American racism. In fact, <laughs> since Joe Biden was inaugurated, 37 states have introduced bills or taken other steps that would restrict how teachers can discuss racism. But I'm sure it's no big deal. It's like they say, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to be a-okay. <laughs> I can't wait to... Here, kids learned that the Montgomery bus boycott was actually all about getting your steps in. <laughs> in New Hampshire, Republicans proposed a bill that would ban teachers from advocating any doctrine or theory promoting a negative account of the founding and history of the United States. And the state of Virginia launched a tip line to report teachers of divisive subjects. That's a tough rule, considering that divisive subjects include all of history and a big part of math. <laughs> but... When it comes... <laughs> Man, that's up with semaphore. That's up with semaphore. But when it comes to bad ideas, there's dumb, then there's Florida, where <laughs> legislators recently advanced a bill that would prohibit public schools and private businesses from making white people feel discomfort when they teach students or train employees about discrimination in the nation's past. You can't really make laws against discomfort. Especially in Florida, their state bird is swamp ass. <laughs> not enough talcum powder in the world. It's not just schools and businesses. They also want to censor private relationships. One Rhode Island conservative legislator blamed critical race theory for the end of a friendship, tweeting, I had a black friend. I liked her, and I think she liked me too. But now she is hostile and unpleasant. I am sure I didn't do anything to her except be white. That is unbelievable. There is no way she had a friend. <laughs> it all... I don't know, that's, that's not her, right? Is that her? Could be stock photo, I don't know. It all raises the question, how are we supposed to discuss black history if you can't talk about the parts that make some white people uncomfortable? Well, happily, there's a new product that just might help. <laughs> <laughs> I say we should stop focusing on the color of people's skin. Totally agree. Just treat everyone like equals. Problem solved. Sure, but that doesn't account for systemic racism. Or... What was that? You used the word racism. <laughs> and that made us uncomfortable. Do you find it difficult to talk about race? Yeah. yeah. Unsure what words might offend others? Definitely. Definitely. Great news! We've turned discussing black history into a fun party game. Wait, awesome! What? Introducing Taboo, White Fragility Edition, the game that lets you discuss black history without making white people uncomfortable. Here's how it works. Try to get your white friends to guess your black history word. But be careful. Don't use any words or phrases that make them uncomfortable. Okay, um, this person was born into slavery. Oops, uh, all right, uh, no problem. They were a famous abolitionist. Seriously? Yeah, it's on the card. Okay, how about they fought against injustice? Oh, sorry. Saying injustice implies that there was injustice. There was. I feel like this game makes you know less about black history. Can't say black. What do you mean I can't say black? I'm black. Oh, you were angry while black. It's in the rules.
Taboo, White Fragility Edition, from the makers of We're Not Sorry. Okay, my turn. Great guy. Martin Luther King? Yes! <laughs> Mother! We'll be right back with Daniel Craig. <laughs>